So we have our search method ready to go. Now we just need to implement it within our post filter form. So to start with, let's go and plop the HTMX attributes on the form itself. Everything here is going to propagate up from our inputs. So within our form, we're going to want HX hyphen post, which will designate that we want this attribute to kick off a post request. There's also an HX hyphen put patch and delete method available as well. If you need to do one of those HTTP methods within here, we want to provide the route path that we want the post request to go to. So in our case, it's going to be route posts search. Next, we're going to want to designate a target using the HX target attribute. So within this HX target, we want to provide a valid query selector. In this case, we're going to want to target our post list components items. So within our post list wrapper div here, we're going to want to provide some kind of identifier so that we can query it and swap its contents out. Now, this could be an ID. You could also do a specific attribute. So what I like to do is HX and then provide the purpose of the component. So we can do HX post list. And I like to do this approach and prefixing the attribute with HX because it gives a purpose within our application. We know that since it's prefixed with HX, it's HTMX using it. If we were to do something like an ID, it might get lost in translation and change down the road when we're refactoring. So that's why I use this specific attribute naming structure here. So let's go and give that a save, jump back into our post filters and set that up as our HX target. So since it's an attribute, we'll want to wrap it up in brackets and let's do HX post list. And now we also want to specify the swap behavior. If we didn't do this and we didn't specify it specifically as outer HTML, what will happen is each time that the HTML swaps out, it'll just swap out the inner contents by default, leaving this div in place. And so what we're going to end up doing is just getting a nested list of these divs as we swap and filter our format. So specifying outer HTML here will include this div in the swap so that we'll swap all of the selection contents here. So within our post filters, we'll want to do HX swap and provide outer HTML there. Lastly, we need to specify that we want this post request to kick off anytime that the value changes within the form. So we'll want to do HX trigger, which allows us to specify when to trigger the request. We'll trigger it on input and then we'll also specify that we want it to delay 500 milliseconds after the input is done in case the user continues typing. And that just allows the user to finish out their thought whenever they're typing within our pattern field here before the actual request will kick off. Oh, real quick, that should be trigger with two Gs instead of one. All right, so that should be all that we need to do here within our form. So now we should be good to go ahead and try testing the form submission process out. So within our pattern search here, let's go ahead and try searching for Delore again. You can see, okay, we now have just 22 results each appear to be matching Delore, which is good. Let's go ahead and swap it out with a blog specification. And now we just have blogs back. All right, let's try swapping that out for articles. Articles looks good. Title descending and let's do post type. Well, we're just doing article, but still awesome. So everything so far seems to be working with the form in itself. HTMX seems to be working just fine. Our requests are going out. We can take a look at the actual behavior here. If we jump to our network tab, let's kick off just the low, take a look at the request take a look at the response. And you can see we're just getting back the list here. Everything from 22 results onward is all that we're getting back with the request body. And then HTMX is taking care of swapping this in place of the current DOM elements so that the actual DOM updates with the new search results. The last thing we're going to take care of here is updating the URL bar. And then we'll also populate the searches and the selections with the appropriately applied filters in case we were to refresh or share this URL with somebody else. So we'll take care of that in the next lesson.